So we wanted to spend a little bit of our time this morning when we start talking about what happened last night. I think, as we said yesterday, when we talk about how to clarify the win, part of that is sort of identifying where the bullseye on the target is. And when we know what the win is, then we can best evaluate it when we don't hit it and celebrate it when we do. So before we get into that, I want to sort of make this whole day flow through a passage of scripture. We talked yesterday morning about um, just the importance of who we're going to be is just as if not more important than what we're going to do. So as we do this process today, I just want everything to flow through the lens of this couple of verses from Colossians 3. So let's look at that together. Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must, cl you must clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts, for as members of one body you're called to live in peace and always be thankful. How much could our Sunday morning experience change if our teams filtered everything through that? I mean, I know it sounds kind of pie in the sky and floating through fields of daisies for those of us who are like linear technical engineer types, but man, that's the fruit of the spirit, right? That's the fruit of the spirit expressing itself through love in the way we have relationship with each other. So as we evaluate kind of yesterday, one of the, you know, it says, bind us together in perfect harmony. That word, that word for unity there is actually the same word as the mending of a broken bone. It gets fused together in unity. That's a powerful image, right? That's not just coming together and having a good time. It's not just, hey, I'm cheering for you and I really like you. It's, it's unity. It's being fused together. So as we typically evaluate our stuff, and I'm, I'm using kind of the model of what we do at North Point, our Monday evaluation meeting about what happened on Sunday always starts with who had a great weekend, right? It's not about the service. It's not about programming. It's not about the technique. Their weekend is Friday and Saturday. So it's literally person by person has an opportunity to go through and talk about their ball game, talk about their family hiking trip, talk about, you know, their in-laws coming in for the weekend or whatever it was. And so um, how are you guys doing? How's everybody feeling this morning? Feeling great. Really good because the air conditioner worked last night. Awesome. Todd and I are sharing a room <laughs> at the hotel, and we finally figured out how to work the air conditioner. So <laughs> it was, let's just say it was blue last night, <laughs> yeah. and we slept great. <clears throat> Nino, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, my AC worked as well. <laughs> <laughs> good. So, you know, we'll spend a few minutes just sort of catching up, right? We have, there's this... Um, you know, best weekend ever award that sometimes we'll give out. So if anybody has a great story about how they spent their weekend or had an epic time with their family or whatever, you know, everybody, you know, head down, eyes closed, everybody vote, you know, who had the best time. And we just sort of celebrate those moments with each other. So that's, it's just a great way to kind of build those bridges and connect relationally first. And then the next question is, um, yesterday in our Sunday programming, what can we celebrate? People, processes, teams, uh, troubleshooting, people putting out fires, whatever the case was, what went great? You know, what can we, who can we come around and say, man, we're just, we're just so grateful that you were part of the team because you helped us accomplish X, Y, Z. And so we start with how to build each other up. Again, that unity piece, it's like, man, nothing, Nothing prepares you better to receive criticism yeah. than getting built up first, right? So, because we're not here to pick apart everything. We're not here to nitpick and we got to find that extra couple percent where we just weren't quite there or that 50% that we totally blew it. We're, we're here to talk about how we reached people, how we met people where they are, how we took people on a journey. And then we'll talk about perfect world stuff. So that's, that's kind of a picture of how we can start an evaluation in maybe a different way. Because if you walk into an evaluation meeting with the mindset of, okay, what went wrong? It's just kind of upside down. Anything else you would say about that just from a 
a church, local church perspective? I mean, you hit the nail on the head for me. And Jeff and I were talking about it this morning, but um, I think loving and valuing your team members, um, caring for them and listening. And, and then that celebration piece. Sometimes we'll write a note to volunteers, you know, just get a handwritten note from the whole team, sign it. Like, who just killed it this Sunday? That no one even saw they were backstage just hustling. And, and that celebration, that positive mentality is amazing. And to the evaluation piece, this is just a side note. I, we had a, one of our campuses that evaluated so much that they had to take a year off. Like, they were such in an evaluation mindset. A year off of church? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was Gwinnett, but Jeff made yeah. the call. He's like, we've got such a critical kind of spirit with critiquing things, and we've, we've built ourselves up in our expertise of critique that we're stifling any good that could come out of this. And I think sometimes our team members can feel so criticized that they can't bloom and grow because it's like everything's just nitpicked to death. But Man, that's one of this piece of just loving people, celebrating and those relationships and capital. That's a great huge. point. Yeah, that's awesome.